हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माई इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट इंसिनेटर लाइन डायग्राम इन टुडे वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट दैट हाउ यू आर गोन लाइन अप द इंसिनेटर इफ यू आर गोइंग फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन बोर्ड एज अ फोर्थ इंजीनियर और फिफ्थ इंजीनियर बेसिकली द इंसिनेटर इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट मार्पोल इक्विपमेंट एंड यू शुड नो हाउ टू लाइन अप द इंसिनेटर If you want to know about the starting and stopping, I will be uploading in the next video. Friend, those who are watching Marine Engineering for first time, I want to tell you, Marine Engineering has a platform which makes video like this, which will be beneficial for our examination, oral, and interview purpose. Friend, therefore, please like, share, and subscribe our video. Those who are giving MU Class One, Class Two, Class Four, I request you to please join the membership. You can get a lot of video which will be beneficial for your. oral and for your written purpose so please go and take the membership i guarantee you will get a lot of video which will be beneficial for your examination so let's start today video of insinator so in the examination if anybody ask you that what is a insinator and tell me in one word so basically insinator is a marpole equipment which is used for burning the sludge and oil racks on board so what why is it is provided it is provided to burn out the primarily sludge which are generated on board and to burn the oily rags and the other garbage such as cardboard and other thing except plastic on board now sometime the question asked in the examination is that whether you can burn plastic in the incinerator or not so it depend upon the type approval if the type approval certificate say that you can burn incinerator you can burn plastic in the inside the incinerator in that case you can burn it but if it say that you cannot burn then you cannot burn but other than that all the incinerator are made for burning the sludge and oily rags now let's see some important component of the incinerator so this is the primary chamber this is the secondary chamber this is the ceramic wall double ceramic wall which is parting the primary and secondary chamber this is the exhaust gas outlet this is the primary fan this is the waste oil burner this is basically the primary burner this is the feeding door from which if you are burning solid sludge such as oil racks and other thing in that case you will feed from here this is the door from where you will take out the ashes which are generated after burning and basically this is the refractive material in closing the whole chamber when the important component in the incinerator are mainly this primary burner waste oil sludge burner this fan and this sludge oil pump which is or you can say waste oil dosing pump so basically the incinerator on board look like this now this is the panel where you have to operate the incinerator in some ship you can find the panel like this in which the alarm will be indicated here the parameter will be reflected here and bottom it will be reflected how which part is operating so this panel this panel is basically this thing and this alarm part is basically this part so this is the incinerator which is present on board and this is a line diagram so the important component before tracing a line diagram you should know that where is the waste oil tank where is the incinerator gas oil tank where is the incinerator gas oil pump where is the waste oil dosing pump where is the waste oil milling pump and where is the incinerator so friend what happened first is that first you have to transfer sludge oil from the oily bill tank to the incinerator so you will transfer the sludge oil from the oily bill tank to the incinerator normally the incinerator are 1 meter cube 0.5 meter cube depending upon your ship capacity now after transferring the oil 
what you will do that you have to heat it up so the temperature in the incinerator before burning the waste oil sludge we maintain around 95 to 100 degree celsius why we are doing it like that we are doing the temperature around 95 to 100 so that any water particle which is present get evaporated and the lube oil and the other fuel and the other sludge is up to the optimum temperature for combustion or burning basically what is happening this is the drain which is provided for manually draining the incinerator if we want to do the cleaning now we are transferring the sludge oil from here to the incinerator after that we will open the steam which will go and which will heat the incinerator waste oil tank now in order to churn it through the properly mix to form a uniform mixer we will use the help of a milling pump we will open the suction of the milling pump and after that it will churn like this it will go from here it will take it will go like this and will revert back to the incinerator so the milling pump is basically used for churning the incinerator sludge to form a uniform mixture and after that also it provide the sludge to the dosing pump feed it means that the milling pump has got two operation the first is to churn it to form a uniform mixer and when the incinerator is started for burning at that time it provide the dosing it provide the sludge to the dosing pump now what we have talked till now we have talked that how we will transfer the incinerator how we have transferred the oily bilge tank sludge to the incinerator and we will heat it up and we will churn it and we will maintain the correct temperature after maintaining the correct temperature now we line up the incinerator gas oil tank now why we, why we need the incinerator gas oil tank basically as i told you this is a primary burner this primary burner main function is to help to build up sufficient amount of temperature inside the incinerator so that when the waste oil is admitted inside the incinerator at that time it get combustion temperature enough to self sustain the sludge burning so what is happening first you have to transfer the gas oil from the gas oil storage tank and after that add the gas oil so we don't need the heating but we need to maintain the optimum temperature such is around 35 to 40 degrees celsius and after that from here the gas oil will come and here and then we will open this valve and this is a suction of a gas oil pump from here depending upon the if it is put in a start mode at that time this valve will operate manual valve will operate and the gas oil will be made admitted to the primary combustion chamber by the primary burner so when you put start the primary carrier combustion fan and gas oil pump and after that you put start the incinerator at that time the igniter will ignite and after that the prime burner will get ignited so it will collect the oil from here it will go like this and then the primary magnetic valve will operate and the oil will be made available to the primary burner and prime burner will ignite it up after the sufficient temperature of around 500 to 800 degrees celsius is arrived at that time the waste oil dosing pump will get activated and the milling pump will provide the sludge uniform mixer to the dosing pump and this waste oil magnetic valve will get operated and it will be made available to the waste oil burner. The waste oil burner will then ignited and it will be first assisted by the primary burner. When the temperature reach around 850 to 950 degrees Celsius and when it is self sustaining and can self sustaining type in that type it will switch off and it will continue to fire and it will maintain a temperature between 800 to 1200 degree celsius so in short if we say first we have to transfer sludge to the incinerator waste oil tank we have to heat it up we have to heat it up so after transferring the sludge to the waste oil tank we have to heat it up around 95 to 100 degrees celsius to evaporate the water maximum after that we have to churn it properly with the by help of a milling pump so form a uniform mixer 
and after that we have to line up the gas oil tank and from gas oil tank we have to start the primary burner we have to maintain a temperature of around 500 to 800 degrees celsius when the temperature is around 500 to 800 degrees celsius then the dosing pump will be started because the milling pump is running and it is make, making the available sludge oil to the waste oil dosing pump and this waste oil primary burner magnetic valve will operate and the waste oil will be made available to the waste oil burner and it is starting it will be assisted by the primary burner and after that what will happen after some time when it is self sustaining fire in that case it will switch off and it will continue to fire maintaining a temperature of around 800 to 1200 degree celsius so friend this is how you are gonna line up the waste oil tank if you have learned something from this video then please